Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and Bake back, and today, I want to rip some more of these Legend Fantasy Packs, man. They just have been pretty nice for me. Those last few, you guys saw the Legend pull. We got some 87s. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull some of these. I, these have been good for me. So, we got some points. We can only buy... We can't buy all eight of them, I don't think, with our points. But we can probably buy, like, six of them, maybe. Um, maybe even a couple more than six. Maybe, maybe seven. I don't know. But, um, we're just going to open. We'll see how it is, and... If it's really bad, maybe we'll stop. If it's going pretty good, we'll keep going. But yeah, let's just uh, see what we got right here. Ooh, I think we completed the daily objective, or maybe I have to play some solos today. Probably still have to do that, but these first rounds usually aren't too crazy. That's what I realized. Sometimes you can get lucky and you can get an elite out of them, but I also don't mind the silver players too for tokens and sets. Like, I'll take them. Ooh, 80 overall. Jacuzzi Tart? I don't know how to say his name. His name is crazy difficult to say. We'll take him, and then we'll also take the, uh... No, nah, we're, we're not gonna take the rookie. We'll take the 78 overall. I'll take the high golds, and boom! Done, Terry Pope. Normal elite card. He's our first of the pack of the, uh, final round. Now, we need to see something 84 plus. We will, but it's not Reggie White. Hey, let's see who this last card is. It will be an 84 plus, and boom! It's an 85. Jimmy Smith will definitely be going for him. Again, because a uh, guy's been trying to do the flashbacks um, and all kinds of other sets, any kind of Elite 84 Plus goes for a good amount up on the auction house. Their value is pretty good, which is partially one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. I can either A, sell those guys for a ton of coins, or I can open up flashback packs and, uh, yeah, make a ton of coins, which I have been definitely doing. Okay, another one of these fantasy packs. First one was pretty good. Jimmy Smith, again, I don't even think we got an 85 overall or an 86. In that whole first bundle that came with eight of those, man. That bundle was low-key trash. Danny Trevathan power-up. Again, his 84 overall card is going for a grip right now. But um, his power-up probably not the craziest. But I will take it just because it is a power-up. And then I'll take the 66, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think of which one I have less of. Just to do sets and things like that. Gold round. Show me them elites, baby. They've been... Uh, Kind of poking their heads out, but not this time. Definitely not. Another elite round. Can we get something crazy? Tyler Eifert is definitely not it. Hit it from the back. Boom. 84 Kenny Clark. Probably our best pull in this pack right here. We also do see a Reggie White. So I'm guessing he'll go for more. I'll take him, but they're both 84 overalls. Nothing too crazy still. I need to see something better than this. This is not bad, but... I need to see something crazy, yo. Can still do some more of these, man. I might even open up just some normal packs, but I wanted to at least try these out. Maybe I'll do a 20 pack of uh, premium golds because I haven't done those in a while now, it feels like. We get Justin Law right there, and they've been good for me for the most part. We'll take him. I don't know why he doesn't even have an image. <laughs> uh, fam? <laughs> He doesn't even got an image, bro. That's definitely not good. I saw some people pulling crazy cards out of this round. How is Dwayne Allen a 79? Ooh, 82, Kendall Fuller. How is he a... Bro, that's crazy. He is definitely not a 79 overall in real life. He is dookie in my opinion. He didn't do nothing for the page last year. Jonathan Stewart, first card of this one. Legend! Boom! Ted Hendricks. Yikes, definitely not the craziest, bro. That look on his face, that's what I got right now. But Leonard Fournette... That's a good pull right there. I do have his power-up, too. So I could actually do that one and uh, rock with this power-up. That's actually not bad. Now that I finally know how to run the ball and I'm not, like, stuck in sand, this is kind of fire. Might be my last one. This will give us uh, enough points to do a 20-pack bundle, which I'm thinking about. I really am thinking about. Even though I feel like the value is more guaranteed in these, you will get a lot more of the gold, but you won't get the automatic 84s. Ah, and those automatic 84s are going for a nice amount right now. Let's choose this guy. We'll choose the old guy. And yeah, we'll choose him. <laughs> oh no, maybe I'll stick with these. I think I'm going to stick with these just because I feel like our chances might be a little bit better right now. Nothing right here. Just some... Ooh, th this might go for a little bit. These rookie cards might go for a little bit. Let's go. Final round. Elite popping. That's definitely not it. Teron Armstead. 84 Mike Vick. Not bad. Can we get higher? Devin McCordy. Okay. I'm going to choose McCordy. I do have his power up, but again, they probably go for about the same. Devin McCordy might go for even a little bit, I think, more than that. Definitely open up a ton of these legend packs. Probably won't be doing this in the future because this is too many, but 
I wanted to see if we get something one more time up in these bad boys. Hey. Right, this might be our final one. Ooh, Jack Conklin coin card. Okay, that's pretty good. And we still have an 84 plus. That's 85, Michael Vick. And 84, Anthony Barr. This is a tough one. How much does this Conklin quick sell for? Um, 60,000, he is probably the move. Conklin is definitely the move. Vic about 40K. Barr was a little bit, he was around, I think, about 60, but uh, this is guaranteed 60. So I will take the 83. Not not very often do you go with the lower overall. So since that pull was pretty solid, that's 60K right there. And then the rest of this pack, we get probably another 1,000 or two. Uh, not bad, man. Damn, I guess I gotta stick with these. I really do gotta stick with these. Ah, three more packs is all we can open. So actually we can open all three of these. Might as well, guess we're gonna finish it out like that. See if we can get one more last pull before we are done with these bad boys. Trevon Young, not who I'm looking for. Brown baby, another one, 81, Markavius, Markavius Mingo, Brandon Tripp, that's a good one. That's a good car right there. He's been going for a bunch, and Derek Brooks, okay. The elites, show me the elites, show me the elites! 80, Joe Mixon, okay, at least it's an elite in this round. I will definitely take that for sure. And we get another rookie card. I have so many of those I have to sell up. 87, Mike Vick, yo, that might be a lit pull. We also do get Randy Moss, 84. Ooh, and Melvin Gordon, but Randy Moss has to be the best pull out of this, right? This Vick card goes for about 120K. Definitely a nice pull, man. That is a lit pull right there. All right, baby, our final round. Anything fire. Do you want to make my day with something crazy? Yeah, that ain't going to do it. Is this going to do it? 85 Chris Harris Jr. is pretty good. That, that's, that's definitely a good way to end it out. Ooh, I like that, man. That was a good little pack opener right there. I am opening up some more packs. Um, yeah, we're just going ham today. Evan Ingram right here and the Elite Player Pack. I wanted to get these out of the way first. Looks like that's going to be what we're getting. I definitely think those fantasy packs are the absolute freaking move. But uh, the good thing is we do get all of this stuff now, I guess. We don't have to decide between X and Y or whatever. Ooh, power-up play right here. I'll definitely take that out of a silver slot. But I need to see some elites. Here we go. Boom, 84. Jordan Howard. He does have that flashback. Yo, that's some good pull, though. 84 overalls. Going for a bunch. And out of elite player pack, that is a nice little pack of room. We got our final elite player pack right here. These usually are not my lucky ones, though. These are really not. Kelvin Benjamin right there. And that's going to be the only elite out of that one. Yeah, see, these are just not the move, I think, these ones. Let's see what we got. Out of 40 gold premiums, that's so much. These gold premiums have been super nice. Either that or they've been super mad. Like, these have been hit or miss this year, but they low-key have been hitting for me for the most part. Okay, let's see what we got. We can open up a lot of these bad boys. These are going to take a while, man. Holy crap. I forgot it takes a while to open up these packs, but I'll be able to do some sets, do some flashback pack openings for you guys after doing these. And that's why I'm like, all right, I want to open up some of these gold packs because these gold packs, again, I've gotten some crazy banger pulls out of them, but they also help me do the flashbacks, which, again, I literally just did uh, a couple, and now it's like, hey, now you can do a couple more probably. I can probably do six or seven. Malcolm Butler right there. I should get him and then change his chemistry to Patriot. I don't know if you can do that. You probably could, I think, with the, what's it, what, what's it called, with those power-ups. Uh, I think you can. So I, now I just need the Elite, and then I can change him to a Patriot and put him on my team. He'd get a nice boost. I'm still maxing and uh, missing. Ooh, 80 overall. Akeem Hicks messing with, as I was trying to say. The, um, what's it called, the team chemistries and stuff like that. Like, you can add them to jerseys and coaches and stuff, but... I really don't get the full understanding of that. Like, I, I don't know. I, I'm a little confused about that part. So I, I got to watch uh, maybe some videos or uh, find some tips because I don't know. I, I, I just don't understand how, like, it works on the jerseys. Like, how does a team jersey cam work? Does it work for a certain amount? Does, can you multiply? I have no clue, man. We get another power-up player, Melvin Gordon. Not bad, bro. I almost took his... Uh, I almost took his, what's it called, 84 overall earlier, but I didn't. But I think he'll get a good amount of cards this year. So that's actually a good card to have. Loki, I need to start getting my training up, fam. We spent a lot of training recently doing those crazy freaking cards. Elite player, boom, Juju Smith-Schuster. I, I always think this is a flashback. Like, the background looks like the lightning bolt from the older Madden days. Like, the, man, what is that, Madden 16? I don't even know way back when they had the flash lightning bolt those are the og flashbacks i like those 
design uh, card art better. Couple of rookies. I haven't done any single Team Diamond sets, and I'm definitely not going to. They're so expensive. Again, I have bought some Team Diamonds, and that's why my coins are pretty low. And you may or may not have seen it by now. Again, I had a lot of gameplays to push out, and I wanted to get those out before I showed y'all my new team, which is lit. Again, we are 86 overall, but um, yeah. Oh, 80 over Tyrod. Oh, I, I got a little too, uh, little too trigger happy there. I'm, I'm flying through these packs right now. But yeah, um, I've been loving Madden so far, man. I I've said this before. I hope y'all been enjoying the videos and the content. I think y'all have for the most part. And man, we have been uh, absolutely just crushing, posting tons of videos, playing this mode a ton. Right now, I'm about to crush out the Journey solos. That's the next thing that I'm going to be working on. So, yeah, one of these days while y'all are watching this pack over him, I am grinding those Journey solos, trying to get those done, and trying to get Mutt Master probably within the next two weeks. Um, I think there are 11 more days until it'll be unlockable from the point of me saying this. Um, like, I need 11 more collectibles, and then I need to get all the stats and stuff like that. And I also need to finish up the solo challenge stuff like that. If I beat the Journey, I'll have close to... What? Uh, pretty close to 500 solos, I think, done. So, yeah, that's the good thing. I have been grinding, and I've also played some head-to-head -head and some squad games, too. But I, I think you have to play 100 at least to get uh, another token from there. Halfway done with these. So, yeah, hopefully soon I got my master here. Uh, and that'll be the first year I've ever completed my master. So it's definitely um, better now. Ooh, Anthony Barr power-up. That's actually nice. I have his, um, his map version. We can put him in here, and with a little bit of training, we got a uh, probably 85 or 86 Anthony Barr, I think. Probably 85. I, I just love how much there is to do in Madden. Like, I feel like it's so in-depth. There's You can you can be a casual player. You can be a super hardcore player, and I feel like it really caters to everyone, too, especially with the, the modes. You can play against the computer. You can play against user-to-user. User. Like, there is so much to freaking do and grind for and to play for, and... Again, if you don't want to spend no money and you want to go no money spent, you just want to play the game, you can literally do that, which you can't always in some modes. So it's kind of nice. I think this is the best Ultimate Team mode. I said this before. But, uh, yeah, it's just so fun. I'm loving it. Absolutely am. Anything in these packs, man, these gold packs have gone a little cold. I need to do some of the gold player packs. I keep seeing guys pull absolutely fire from them. Ooh, Josh Rosen. I actually watched some of his game, uh, his game footage from... The first recent game, he actually looked pretty good. I like the way he moves in the pocket. If I was a Cardinals fan, I would be uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, I don't know. He looks pretty good. Uh, he's got a nice little arm, a nice little cannon on him. So that's actually not a bad... Uh, not, I'm, I'm going to be watching for him. Not sure if he's going to be the move in like fantasy or anything like that. They do have some okay receivers out in Arizona. They got J.J. Nelson. They still got Fitz. Who else they got? They got another couple guys who are just speedsters, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The Arizona Cardinals should have a good year, right? They should have a bounce back year. David Johnson's going to be healthy. Like, hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers for him. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. They got a nice little team cook here. Not going to lie. There's a lot of good teams that should be on the come up this year. And I'm just excited to watch that. Because, again, I watch all football. Like, with basketball, I'm a Celtics fan, diehard. I don't really be watching some other games too much. But with football, though, I'm a diehard Patriots fan. But I will watch as much football as I can get, and usually. If it's like a crappy, like super crappy game, then I probably won't watch it. Like those Thursday night games are kind of bad sometimes. So usually I stay away from those games. Um, but besides that, man, like I, I try not to miss a game. Whoa, Hall of Fame. Oh, whoa. I pulled one of the Hall of Fame cards. That's the first one I've pulled out of that, out of packs. We also do get Earl Thomas power. Bro, that was such a troll. I thought we were going to get a limited time or something crazy, and we just ended up getting that. <laughs> those still do have good value, though. I made so many coins off those. Like, I made at least 300, 400k off those. So, those were definitely... I'm glad I opened up those packs, definitely. But I made probably probably close to probably 300k in this pack opening alone as well. With the Vic and all the... 84 overalls. We definitely made a good pack opening today. We still do have some packs to go. Still could pull something epic. Ooh, Bobby Wagner power. Of course, all these guys that I've already bought, and Loki, some of them I might have already powered up. I do need to get the Team Diamond. Earl Thomas, though, that's like my next card that I want to get. Anthony Barr. Okay, another good pull, baby. Take it. And I do have his power up, but I already have a nap version of him, so I'll probably try and sell this card 
probably pretty soon here because I think his value will go down because you can get him out of level packs and people are probably going to start getting those level packs soon. Charles Clay, okay. Starting to see some elites to end it out on. How many more packs do we got? I don't even need to see the gold. Seven packs left. Oh my. Haven't gotten a crazy pull out of these. We did get Anthony Barr. That's probably our best one. I think out of these uh, gold packs. So yeah, again, sometimes they're hit or miss. I think this was a miss, but we pulled some pretty good cards. And um, we always pulled that freaking, uh, we also pulled that uh, Von Miller in the last pack. So I'm not gonna hold out my hope yet. I mean, we gotta open up every pack before we say anything. We gotta open them all up because that last pack could be a banger. You never know. <laughs> I still can't believe we pulled that Vaughn Miller. I was going to buy him uh, first day. Baker Mayfield. Ooh, sweet. That is a core rookie and one of the few I did not have. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I do have his 87. I didn't really like it. Again, card wasn't as accurate as it probably should have been. And it, it was okay at scrambling, but the Michael Vick card is just 10 times better. It's, it's so much better as a card. So that card was cool for a little bit. Elite. Shanny. Danny Shelton. I, I said Shanny. <laughs> A uh, couple packs left, fam. Almost done right here, but yeah, it's, it's definitely not a bad card to get you over for a little bit. Um, honestly, I could probably trade him in and exchange for like Vita V or something right here. 87! Dog! I'm telling you, these packs at the end get crazy good. Damn, bro! What? That's insane, fam. I'm get, I got the crazy luck this year. Wow. As I was saying, though, I could trade in the Baker, but I don't really think I need any of the other guys. None of the other guys make my team, so I'm just holding on to my trophies, but yeah, a banger to hand the pack over to you. Was that our last pack? Oh, my God, we got two packs left still. Yo, 87, just Dave and Clowney. Another crazy, nasty 87 to 88 to 89 pull. That is insane. We also do get a Tim Jerrigan, and we got one more pack, but I just want to fly through it. Wow! See, like, look what I was saying, man. These last, the last two things are always, like, the best for me. I don't know why. What? A full legend, too? No way! What? I just jumped right through it. What? <laughs> Yo! In two, in three packs, we are a full legend, a random 81 elite, and an 87 Jordanian clowny. Wow! Again, he is only the fullback, but... That still goes for at least a couple hundred K. What? Oh my God, yo. Oh my. Bro, check that out. Let's see what he goes for real quickly. He is going for 200,000. We pulled two full leads, full legends this year. Not full leads, full legends. This is our second one. Dude, I'm telling you, my pack's been great this year. Holy crap. That was well worth it. And we also got Jadavion Clown who has 80 speed. And he goes for about 200k as well. Wow. Those were banging last few packs. See what I said? I'll go back and watch the video. I literally said, you never know with the last few packs. You got to open them all. And boy, look at these last few, fam. I'm telling y'all, this ain't a fake video. I, I did not plan that. Like, this is all live. Holy crap, man. Wow. That is insane. Oh, my God. Oof, those were some fire packs, bro. That is definitely a good pack opening. Um, hope y'all enjoyed. Hopefully we got some more gameplay and some other stuff. But I did want to just record a random video. Probably grind down a lot of solos right now. But um, yeah. <sighs> Holy crap, man. Uh, pack luck is on fleek, dude. Look at that. A full freaking legend and Andy Damian Clowney in a couple packs. What? What even is this?